Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial by the Blender Animations. In this tutorial we're going to cover how to render a movie that you've finished in Blender. Now for the purpose of this we're just going to move this cube back here. So in frame 1 it's going to be here. And frame 30 we'll move it over there. Actually we'll move it down there. Now when you're making, like when you're rendering a movie there are a few things that are really important. Um, the first one is that the camera can actually see the object. Now to go into camera view you can go view, camera, or you can press zero on the number pad. Now when you're looking um, through the camera's view, um, you'll see this dotted line here which creates a box. Now that line shows um, what the camera can actually see. So that's showing you what it's going to render. Um, so you can see that in frame 1 it's perfectly fine, um, it, you can see that in the camera but at frame 30 it's almost all out of the camera so you just need to move the camera somewhere where it will be able to um, show the whole object see that's good there because it follows the whole object just rotate it a little bit more so yeah, then it can see the whole object Another thing is lighting. In this scenario, um, the camera is looking at the box here. The light is over here, which means this side is all going to be dark. Have a render of that. See, it's all dark. So you need to make sure that you have effective lighting, which shows everything that you want to show. Otherwise, when you render it, it's going to be useless, because there's going to be big areas of black. See, now you can see the whole object. Okay, now getting to actually rendering it. So you want to press F10. That will bring you into here. Now, there are a few things you have to do here. You have to set your output area, which means where you're actually going to save your movie file to. So we're just going to save it directly under the... Actually, we'll save it to the desktop, just as test render. Okay, now you need to set the amount of frames. So it starts at frame 1, and our, our animation only goes for 30 frames, so we're going to make it end at frame 30. Now if you wanted to move to the location and then just stay there for a bit, you can move it out to say frame 45, but that's completely up to you. Um, for the sake of time, we'll just put it at frame 30. Now you need to set um, what format it will be in. So um, at the moment it's a JPEG, which is, which is just a picture. So you want to select AVI codec. Then come up here to where it says compressor. Change that to Microsoft Video 1. Then press OK. Now from here, everything's pretty much good, except um, usually you'll want to turn off subsurface scattering, which is just this triple S here. Um, that, that will make your rendering take a lot longer. Um, so then from here, you just press the animate button and it just takes a picture of every single frame and then it um, want because it puts all of these pictures into a temporary folder then it just puts all these pictures into one movie when you're finished you can see that it's moved and yeah so that's the animation finished so now if we go to the desktop we'll see there's your video file there goes for one second because it um, plays at 25 frames per second and we only did 30 seconds so that's it that's your animation so if you want your animation to go for longer you need to give it more frames or you can slow down the frames per second um, usually you'll leave it at 25 frames per second because that's the normal speed for um, your animation because that's the speed most realistic to real life so anything slower than 25 frames per second is going to be a lot faster. Um, or you can just change um, the amount of frames you have. See if you, because um, it's at 25 frames per second, 25 frames is going to be one second, um, 50 frames is going to be two seconds, and so on and so forth. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment or leave me a message. 
um, thank you for watching.